Welcome to the intro to the ARC Roaster from Crop to Cup Coffee Importers. We'll do a very quick tutorial here, uh, really just to show you the basic parts and show you how it runs. So uh, it's roughly a th uh, 300 to 600 gram roaster. You could probably get up to about 700 grams if you need, maybe down to a sample size of around 150 to 200 grams if you really know what you're doing after a few practice times. So let's show you the parts of it real quick. On the left side, we have all the controls. Very simple plug-in gas line that hooks up to any uh, any sort of normal propane tank. We'll provide the line with it. And it's 110 electrical, plug into any three-prong outlet. On this side as well, we also have the airflow control, zero to nine. Power, timer, cooling fan, and ignition are very simple. I'll turn it on here for you. Let's turn the gas on in the tank. Pull this, this right now it's in lock position. Pull it out, open up the gas, hit fire once, it's on. Very, very gentle controls, bringing you between zero and roughly three bars. Uh, three bars is about the max we'll be getting out of this painting. So right now we'll let it heat up as we go over the rest of the controls. Actually, before we go to that, I can show you the timer system here. Very simple, you just hit your button and it's going to start your roast there. We'll stop it and reset. All right, so here we have a cooling fan. With the cooling button on the side, it turns on the fan and the arm at the same time and the exhaust goes out the right side here. All the tubing is really nice black matte tubing. We have the exhaust tubing up top and the cooling tray tubing down below. You'll want to vent that exhaust outside. And back to the left side, we're going to have the cooling tray going. We're emptying out the roast. Very simple arm here that opens up that door on top. We also have the cooling area for, or sorry, the collection area for the chaff. Very easy to empty out. Stick a vacuum in there, clean it out. On the right side, we have another access point. After you've taken off this chaff collector, very easy to take off, dump it out outside. There's also an access point here to, for further cleaning with the vacuum. Up top, very simple hopper, open and close. It's a nice wood handle on the trier. The screw to lock it in place so it doesn't move around during the roast. All right, we're charging in a little over 300 degrees here. We pop this in. And it's clear. Around this side, you can see our bean temp and environmental temp. Pull this out and you can modify the pressure very easily with my new controls there. And then stop it at two and push it into lock it. That way, if I run by it by accident, it's not going to change. You can also see we're connected by USB here to our computer to follow everything on Artisan. Um, unfortunately, this computer in our lab here is a little bit older. It does not have Bluetooth 4.0. Uh, from uh, any sort of laptop or computer with a newer version of Bluetooth, Bluetooth 4.0, this machine will connect your computer via Bluetooth, so you don't have to worry about these cords. The lights here on the side, the blinking light is showing that Bluetooth is ready and on, but nothing's connected. The middle light is the power and the bottom light is USB meaning it's connected via USB. Well thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions about the ARC Roaster send us an email info at croptocup.com. If you're curious about how it will arrive 
Uh, it's a wooden crate attached to a pallet. You can throw a forklift under it. It's also light enough for two people to lift off, lift up on your own. Uh, it comes right by UPS ground, or if you want to air freight it, it would arrive by FedEx, normal FedEx trucks, the air freight. So very simple to unpack. It comes right in this wood crate, unpacks into that. So check out crop2cup.com for pricing and all the specific terms, or just Google crop2cup arc roaster. Thank you.